Good morning, Alex. I'm in the top and travel. Uh, we're here in Hong Kong, one of our favourite airports and cities. Uh, what we're going to do today is have a look at the different lounges, have a comparison, and also we're going to have a look at a few other things that you might not have missed. <laughs> might have missed. <laughs> This is the main terminal at Hong Kong International Airport. We'll start at the wing, head to the deck, onto the Sky Garden and the Sky Bridge, and finish off with the pier. Unfortunately, the bridge and the first pier both remain closed, but we'll discuss as we go along how you can access each lounge. So the first one we're going to check out is the first wing? Pier. I think it's the wing. Behind the glass is immigration, so if you're entering the airport, make a sharp left and then this takes you along this walkway with views of the park planes. To enter the first wing, you'll need to be travelling in first class or hold one world emerald or higher status. Despite the huge windows, this lounge can come across a little intimidating and that's because of the red leather sofas and a large amount of black marble. In the centre, you can find a bar. Here's the menu. Beyond the darkness, you can either choose to eat at the restaurant with table service and pretty tasty food or you can go around the corner to the buffet. Be sure to try the pear tart. The best reason though by far, and I still find this so incredible, has to be the cabanas. Yes, you can ask for a shower, but this is possibly one of a very tiny amount of airports in the world where you can actually have a bath. How incredible is that? Next on the tour, if you head to the far end of the first class lounge, past the tiny barrier is the wing business class lounge. No bathtubs here, but there's plenty of seating lots of self-service food and there's even these semi-private seats. Around the corner is the Nuda Bar which comes with some pretty good local cuisine. If you head back to the barriers and go down the stairs you're on the main level of the terminal. This was previously where the lower level of the wing business class lounge was. Sadly this is unlikely to reopen. I'll just point out just if you're curious about the lounges and you haven't got access there's loads of shopping here to do. Uh, lots of cafes, restaurants, and also two, maybe, third party lounges you can uh, pay to get into. And here we are at the deck. I'd actually say that if you've got time, this is not one of the better lounges, but it's quite chilled out, and because it's far away, not as many people. So the deck is really similar to the Wing Business Class Lounge. The showers, toilets, and plenty of seating. And you can access this lounge if you have one world sapphire or higher status or if you're traveling in business class so that was the deck uh, we're now going to head on to not a lounge but um one of the interesting things you can do here at hong kong which is new so stay tuned so just we'll go to the sky bridge next on the list is the sky garden needs no words That was the Sky Garden. Um, Go and it's quieter. There's too many people smoking. So, uh, so hopefully this is a bit uh, less smoky, but now we're going to the giant eggshell. And uh, this can be found by gate 11. Uh, so next on the tour, we're going to the Sky Bridge, and that can be found by gate 24. If you like your steps, this is an airport that delivers. So you're probably wondering, why am I walking further given I've seen this view? Well, there's one more thing on the route. So that's the sky bridge, but just on the end there's a place called the Sky Deck. That's a great place for just chilling, watching planes. So that was far too exciting for an AV geek like me. But now we're off to the pier, which will have the business and the first pier wing lounges. I am certainly enjoying myself, 
And if you are too, please help us out and hit the subscribe and like button below. We're hoping to hit 1000 subscribers. And once we do, one of you will be receiving an amenity kit from our travels. The pier first is not open. Oh well. While the first pier lounge is closed, the area straight ahead is temporarily being used for first class and one world emerald status holders. The rest of the lounge is really lovely, so you aren't missing out on anything in here. In my opinion, this is Cathy's best business class lounge. With so many different areas to choose from, we'll start in the food hall. No guesses why. There's even a hot counter and I've even seen tasty pizza and cannolis on occasion. Delicious. The bar area needs no explanation. Be sure to try a Cathy Delight, which is a signature drink, or a Hong Kong milk tea, if that's your thing. Next, the Nuba bar is the same as the wing. Be sure to try the really delicious local dishes. My personal favorite being suamai. Hmm, clearly someone else's favorite as well. The tea room, unsurprisingly, has a large variety of different teas. But if that's not your thing, then why not treat yourself to a cake or a pasta de natta? <music> Nearly there. Beyond it is where you'll find the showers. And then the last room is where you'll find a peaceful area to rest or sleep. Shh. So that was our tour of the different lounges at Hong Kong. Um, maybe write us in the comments below which you think is the best one. Uh, we know for sure. I'm not going to conclude this one because obviously at the end of the day, I want you guys to decide which lounge you think is the best. Uh, but until next time, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and like below. Many thanks.